On June 25, 2007, the bodies of WWE wrestler Chris Benoit, his wife Nancy, and their seven-year-old son Daniel were discovered at their home in Georgia. Authorities determined it was a double murder-suicide. Benoit killed both his wife and his son before hanging himself, taking his own life. Truly awful and tragic and, and just sad. It was a huge blow to the sports entertainment community and to this day remains a black eye on the WWE, despite their best efforts to completely separate themselves from Chris Benoit. The details of the crime are hard to swallow, not for the faint of heart, but one oddity to this case remains a point of interest for many, because it's so weird, it's so bizarre, and just plain eerie. Just after midnight on June 25th, Chris Benoit's Wikipedia page was updated to indicate that his wife Nancy had died. The problem with that is the edit was made 14 hours before the police had discovered the bodies of the Benoit family. You guys, this is the Chris Benoit Wikipedia mystery. When I first learned of the strange Wikipedia edit, I remember doing a double take, like, how? How is that even possible? And then all the wheels in your head start spinning, trying to make sense of it all. Like, was there someone else involved? Did someone have inside knowledge? Is there something even more sinister at play here? Because it just doesn't make any sense. To further elaborate, it was determined that Chris Benoit committed the murders over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and then eventually hung himself on Sunday. Going into Monday, after no-showing for several events, the WWE requested the police perform a welfare check on Benoit, which led to the discovery of the bodies at 2.30 p.m. The police notified the WWE at approximately 4.15 p.m. Yet, it was at 12.01 a.m. that the Wikipedia edit was made, which said, Chris Benoit was replaced by Johnny Nitro for the ECW World Championship match at Vengeance, as Chris Benoit was not there due to personal issues stemming from the death of his wife Nancy. Needless to say, at the time, it would have been impossible for anyone to have known about Nancy's death. For the uninitiated, Wikipedia is a free online encyclopedia created and edited by volunteers. Which means, yeah, just about anyone can contribute to a Wikipedia page, the free encyclopedia that anyone can edit. Though the entries are still moderated and require citation. Just one hour after the Wikipedia edit was made, it was reversed with a comment, need a reliable source, saying that his wife died is a pretty big statement. You need to back it up with something. Well, the wrestling world in shock today, former champion Chris Benoit found dead in As the news started to break regarding the deaths of the Benoit family, a representative from Wikipedia contacted the police Tuesday morning at around 11 a.m., informing them of the mysterious post. According to a Wikipedia coordinator, it didn't become apparent until someone put the pieces together and realized that the comment was made by someone who apparently knew about the murders. This bizarre development in the case piqued people's curiosities, and major news outlets ran with the story. A new and strange development in the apparent murder-suicide involving wrestler Chris Benoit. Someone altered his Wikipedia entry to include his wife's death Monday. To add another layer to this mystery, upon tracking the IP address of the individual who made the edit, it was tracked to Stamford, Connecticut, which happens to be the location for the WWE headquarters. Now, even diehard WWE fans will tell you that the company can be super shady. And this raised so many questions. Was the edit made by someone within the organization? Did someone inside the company have prior knowledge to the murders before the police did? The edit could have come from anywhere in the world, but to come from the same city as the WWE's HQ, it was just too much of a coincidence. Or so it seemed. On June 28th, the mysterious Wikipedia poster came forward, this time posting on Wiki News. I posted the comment we are all talking about and I am here to explain that it was a huge coincidence and nothing more. The post explains how, due to pulling out of several events, there were rumors that Benoit was dealing with a family emergency, which led the user to create the infamous Wikipedia edit. Now, obviously that's a pretty huge leap in logic. And of course, the authorities were not satisfied to leave it at that. The individual, now identified as Matthew Greenberg, had his computer equipment seized and was interrogated by police, rightfully so. The interrogation is now public, and you can even watch it on YouTube, which I watched in full. Greenberg, 19 years old at the time, from Stanford, Connecticut, described how people were speculating that Nancy had died in various wrestling forums, 
And that's why he made the Wikipedia edit. Um, like on forums, I forgot the exact like sites. Okay, like, hold, hold on. On forums? Yeah. You guys, he was just an internet troll. Even when trying to explain why he made the edit, he couldn't really do it. He couldn't explain it. It was just a stupid thing he did. I can't really explain why I did it. It was just, just stupid. Troll's gonna troll. According to Wikipedia, the user from this IP address, aka Matthew Greenberg, actually had a history of vandalizing Wikipedia pages. This wasn't even his first time. But surely, it was his last. I can't imagine just nonchalantly going about your business, getting up to some internet hijinks for your own amusement, only to have it completely blow up in your face the very next day. And next thing you know, you're the internet's most wanted. Now, there are people out there who don't accept this answer. To assume the worst, to assume someone died, all because a wrestler was absent for a couple of events, who could do such a thing? Well, as a person who has been on the internet for most of his life, and has frequented forums and message boards for years, yeah, people say some pretty awful stuff. And to me, it is no stretch at all to think that people were making these kind of statements. But of course, this hasn't stopped people from theorizing further. Another point of interest in the case were a couple of cryptic text messages Chris Benoit sent early Sunday morning. The dogs are in the enclosed pool area, and the back door is open, and provided his address in a separate text from both his and Nancy's phones. These were sent to two of his close friends, fellow WWE wrestler Chavo Guerrero and referee Scott Armstrong. So it stands to reason that at least two people within the WWE had major cause for concern about Benoit's well-being, well ahead of when the bodies were discovered more than 24 hours. Where some people have tried to draw a connection is between Matthew Greenberg and Chavo Guerrero. As I mentioned, Greenberg had a history of Wikipedia edits. One edit happened to be on Guerrero's page, where instead of doing the vandalizing, he actually cleaned it up and removed offensive comments about Guerrero, which have led some to speculate that Greenberg and Guerrero were in some way acquaintances and that Guerrero may have tipped Greenberg off. Look, that's a story, that's a theory that some have proposed, but in my opinion, it's really grasping at straws. Here's my take. At the end of the day, what happened is exactly as it seemed. And it's sad, it's a cold, harsh reality that's more difficult to accept than some of the sensationalized tales that people have spun up. Chris Benoit did those awful things, and what doctors found out about his body afterwards is just as crazy. According to the head of neurosurgery at West Virginia University, he had severe CTE, and his brain was so severely damaged it resembled the brain of an 85-year-old Alzheimer's patient. He also had an enlarged heart, likely from years of steroid abuse, and had he not taken his own life, wouldn't have lived much longer anyways. The doctor who illegally provided Benoit with steroids and painkillers pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. You look at all of these things and Chris Benoit's story was bound to end in tragedy. As for the mysterious Wikipedia edit, I truly believe it was just Greenberg, influenced by outlandish claims on wrestling forums that led him to do what he did. I don't think he had any prior knowledge to what actually happened. This is supported by the fact that there was actually a second Wikipedia edit that same night, one that gets often overlooked. It was made just an hour after Greenberg's edit, and was also removed within 20 minutes. This poster's IP was traced to Australia, and this individual has never been identified. As for the WWE, did they have any prior knowledge as to what happened before the bodies were discovered? Most certainly not. The thing to me that's most telling is on Monday, June 25th, the WWE cancelled its event and instead played a three-hour tribute to Chris Benoit, something I'm sure they regret. Because the next day, as the details of what really happened came to light, they began to completely erase Benoit from all WWE material. Of course, none of these things have stopped people from discussing and theorizing about the mysterious Wikipedia post. And I get it. I do. I'm sure even as I introduced this video, many of you felt intrigued as to where the story would lead us. But this time around, as Matthew Greenberg said, 
It was just a horrible coincidence. On forums? Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. As always, please let me know what you thought about the video in the comments section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. It does help me out a lot. And uh, for stories similar to this one, consider binge watching the playlist. And if you know of any internet mysteries you'd like to see covered on this channel, please let me know. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Peace.